everyone and welcome back to my channel. This vlog has taken a lot longer to put together than I thought it would. Think time's just got away from me. Um been busy as busy as you can be during lockdown, but <laughs> I've had lots on. So this is part three of our journey. It happens during 2020. Obviously part of the year. There was nothing on, so there isn't loads in this one, but I hope you enjoy it. So this is the beginning of 2020 before Covid hit. We had been out another time uh, before this, which I don't have any footage for on the 11th of January, where we did a novice and elementary, um, getting 67% in the novice and 63% in the elementary. At this point, I had decided to step up to elementary and also to qualify for the pet plans rather than regionals. This was when the pet plans were changing into a summer and winter season and I decided that I wasn't going to do regionals and I would just stick with pet plans because I hadn't done because I'd only done the novice regionals the year before I was able to do novice pet plans this kind of in this year in 2020 as long as I didn't attend the novice winter regionals so I'd made the decision not to do regionals and aimed to qualify for the novice and elementary pet plans for the summer of last year. My scores at elementary were not that brilliant and I'd recently had a change of instructor in the December. We'd taken a step back and realised Monty wasn't actually really in a contact. He, Although he looked like he was, he wasn't properly in the contact. So we'd taken a step back. So I did step down to prelim. Um, just to take him out with no pressure and try and get a contact sorted away from home as well as at home. We were in the gold section for prelim, but it was more to just try and get him out and try and repeat what we were doing at home with regards to the contact, but without any pressure on the movements like in an elementary that would then be a little bit difficult for him so I'd this is at the point so they also introduced prelim gold regionals at this point so after this the first time out I did think well maybe I'll give that a go for the summer as well as doing the pet plans at potentially novice and potentially elementary depending on how he was going at the point of the pet plans.
This was our last competition before Covid, so this one was in March. Um, I've managed to gain the scores required to qualify for regionals. Um, as it turned out, I have decided not to carry on with it. I think we've come, because they were so long ago, he's moved on enough now to not to not go back and do the prelim. So we aren't going to do it. As you can see, this is Victon College, where he can be spooky, but here he's not too bad. I don't know if it's partly because we are just doing a prelim, and therefore he's he's not finding the movements difficult. They're not coming up too quickly. It's a case of just trotting or cantering around the end, which I can then almost contain him a little bit better than when we're trying to do. Lockdown then came along and I moved him home. So I only had a field to ride in. We did do some online dressage, which he did quite well at. And then we were able to get back out to lessons and things. So we did some work ready to go back out. He did go lame. So the first time I did just take him out at prelim to see and did one test to see how he got on. I then decided to just go back out at novice. At this point, I didn't really know what plans I had for the winter. Um, obviously, the summers were cancelled, so the qualifications we'd gained for the win for the summers were carried forward to the winters. Um, I'd gained a novice qualification, but and obviously the prelim regionals, but hadn't gained an elementary at this point. His scores at Novice had improved slightly, so this day we got 68 and a 65. Um, the 68 was quite a, an improvement on what we'd been scoring previously. I then took him out at elementary and we attempted, well, our hardest test. Well, I think it's the hardest elementary, so we did 59 and also 45. These were definitely our best elementary scores to date. Um, he'd only been kind of getting 62, 63 before the lockdown so these were definitely the best scores at this point i'd been with my new instructor for about eight months um, and although we i didn't have lessons through the first lockdown i had started again in i think it was the june time when we were allowed to travel the horses again
we now had one qualification score at elementary but I thought I'd go out and try and get another one so we could go to two pet planet area festivals this as you can see was two really good scores the elementary 53 which I don't actually have any footage for he did strike off on the wrong leg as well so that would have been a slightly higher mark but this was our first over 70 We continued training and at this point I'd moved Monty to my instructor's yard which was working out really well. At the beginning of the year, we'd attended some clinics for test riding, which meant we'd qualified for the Southwest Intercounty Challenge. So you're chosen to ride either as an individual or on the team, which we were riding as individuals for each of the counties. So it includes Devon, Cornwall, Somerset, Dorset, Wiltshire, Gloucestershire and South Gloucestershire I think that's all of them um, so you compete on two days in one um, class so we did the novice because that's what we'd qualified for um, and this was the first day so as you can see we managed to get second place I think it was probably about 20 in the class roughly and had a score of over 71 which was a um, dramatic improvement on any novice schools he received before we obviously hadn't been out and done a novice since august so this was it was only a couple of months later but it was enough that we'd managed to put in quite a lot of training
you then come back the next day and ride another test. So we had Novice 38 to do this on this second day, which I parts of it went better and parts of it weren't quite so good. However, we won the class on the second day with quite a consistent score of another score of 71. They then take your average score over the two days to come out with an overall winner. So the person that won the class on day one had won it with 73%. So she was kind of 2% ahead of us on that first day. Um, so although we did win on the second day, she had scored, I think, 70% on the second day, which meant overall she came out with 71.97, I think it was. But we did manage to come second, so we were reserve novice inter-county. He has a little spook there. <laughs> the judge, someone shut a car door just behind him. Um, so yeah, we managed to come second, which was really good, really pleased. We did manage to fit in one more competition. I only entered one class because <laughs> my thoughts were it was December, if it was raining we could go get wet and go home again without having to hang around for a second test. Went back to Victim College and to be honest he was, I don't know if it's just he hadn't been out for a couple of months but he was spooky as anything but in the whole arena normally he kind of contains it most for most of it and just speaks at the gallery end but this was he was just tense and spooky the whole way around i think that you know every movement there was a mistake of some kind and when he's tense he just kind of shortens his stride he goes a bit choppy and it's just not very flowing however it was good to get him out and this was the last time he went out so when we go out again hopefully next week it'll be interesting to see how he behaves luckily it's outside because i think he prefers outside not so keen on indoors um so we'll see how he gets on we've got two elementaries to do one of which is the pet plan test to practice ready for May. So. I hope you've enjoyed following our journey so far. Fingers crossed our next vlog will be a competition one and hopefully there'll be a lot more of them to come. Thank you for watching. Bye. Hey!